This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. Um, I am currently getting ready for life. I need to get my earrings in. I've been a little lazy lately, so I haven't been putting in all of my earrings. We are doing a productive week in my life because it's been a while since I filmed like all the way throughout the week, but I have a lot, a lot of work to get done and to get through, but I've also been making a lot, a lot of plans with friends because I've been trying to balance my work life situation. It's weird. I don't know if it's working, but we're gonna try our best. I was mixing my lip glosses. I mixed my own lip gloss because they just like don't make a shade that I like and I made this one a while ago and everyone seemed to literally love it and I also really like it but I get the blank one this is like a glitter one it's in the shade lover and it's a Sephora brand then I have this shade that I like and I just kind of like mix them together so I can get a sheer version of this color I don't know why they don't make many of these but I can never find one in a shade I like but I did not make this one dark enough I wish I had my old one for reference but I actually lost it but it was almost used up anyway, so it's like fine. There's not enough color in this one right now. I'm getting ready for the day right now. I'm tying my shirt up. I feel like I had a dream last night that it was April already, but it's not, it's March. It's March 13th. Oh, I got a package. I've been waiting for this package for quite a while. It's some new stickers and I guess it's here. That's exciting. I have a small little mouse awake today. I just cleaned your cage yesterday, so everything looks so nice. But this is so exciting. I'm gonna grab the package that's waiting for me. OMG, it's a little one. I've never gotten a sticker package this tiny because usually I order like a million and one but this time it was a smaller order but I have new designs in here <gasps> they look cute I see them oh my gosh do you see inside here already this is a new one also currently on my desk these are all the things I used recently to take product photos of They're just chilling here but this is all still here. I need to clean this later. Everything looks so cute. Let's see what we got. It's a complicated project, but basically I'm making my own stationary notebooks. I wanted to add stickers onto the notebook. So one of the things that I did is design a bunch of those. So these are gonna be going on the back of the notebooks. It says handmade by Tiffany on the like little tummy and holographic and it looks super good. Also, these were all on sale. So that's super nice, but ooh, we got this. So this is also gonna go on the journals, but on the front, we have these guys. It says property of, so these can go on notebooks. I also, Oh my gosh, I just remembered one of my master plans. I made a bunch of paper in college and I never had anything to do like with it. And then I realized I wanted to make little, little journals with them and put these on them. So I can do that while I'm waiting for, oh my gosh, these are tiny. Is this the size I ordered them in? I can do that while I'm waiting for my journals that I designed to get in the mail. But wait, these are so small. I do not recall. Did I order these extra small? I mean, maybe. They're so tiny. They're very cute, but like they're tiny and I kind of wanted them to be large. Larger. Uh, we have the same thing in another design. I've been also doing my wholesale catalog and I just finished. I didn't think these were gonna come today because I didn't verify that this design was correct. I made these sticker sheets and they're really, really cute. I wanted to make them for the journals. I didn't, I really didn't want the holographics to bleed into each other. Like you see how they're like connecting. I really didn't want that. It says I got that dog in me and I made these mostly, I tried to do a holographic uh, for the ketchup and it worked and it looks super cute. I made these for me and my friends because we always get those hot dogs from H Mart, which we're going to get today. These are tiny. Are you seeing this? I did not get these this small, I'm pretty sure. I'll just check my files. But we have these, which are also for the journals. It's just another similar thing. Most of the stuff was for that, I believe. Yes, we have another one of these, but in a different color. And we have this one, it's also like that. Okay, we have my laptop and a ruler here. And this was either my mistake or theirs. We will find out. But yeah, I would love to make a little mock-up today of the little journals because I think that would be super cute. I should have got them. Why did I get them one inch? Well, anyway, we do have this guy now. He is very, very cute. I'll just have to reorder these in a larger size. Overall, I am happy with the design. I think they're really funny. I got to do some cleanup, I 
Yes. <laughs> Here are all of them. I'll bring these for my friends today. I feel like they're gonna lose their mind. Also, I need to redo my nails at some point. As you can see, they're super grown out and I had to cut them. These are all of the different stickers. These aren't gonna be for sale in my shop because they're more of for the journals that I'm gonna get. Everything looks good so far. I'm quite happy about it. We have these. I don't love them, but like, I guess they're fine. Also, I don't know what it is about this company and printing pinks. I feel like the pinks always look a little bit dull compared to everything else, but maybe that's just the shade that I use. They're cute, I guess. I'll take them for now, but next time I'll be redesigning them probably. And then we also have these tiny cats. I've been doing my wholesale portfolio. I can't show you guys the prices, obviously, because that's sensitive information, but I've been working on putting this together because I've been working on getting my stuff into like retail stores for a while. They've started asking me to send like catalogs of the stuff I have, or actually I just think it's appropriate for me to send it. They haven't asked me for it. I just feel like it makes things easier. So these are my single piece stickers. I took some really nice quality photos the other day and these are my single sheets. And of course we have my acrylic keychains as well. So I think these all look really good. And my phone grips, I've yet to be released. They look super cute. And for my catalog, I took a lot of inspo from my website that I made with today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an amazing platform that helps you build your own website. And they've helped me run both my online shop and my portfolio shop. And now have also helped me create a catalog for wholesale as well. Because of their amazing templates that are easy to follow, you can upload your own photos for your own products and sell them on your online shop and they have so many amazing commerce tools for you to use and since i was able to do this so hassle free i was able to just screenshot my website and basically turn it into a catalog which saved me so much time designing because squarespace makes it so easy for you to have a super aesthetic website that looks really really amazing as you can see here this is my current website that i run with squarespace i run my online shop that you can check out in the link down below squarespace has helped me run my own shop so i could not recommend them more and if you guys want to check them out please head to squarespace.com forward slash tiffany wang and use the code tiffany wang for a discount off your first purchase of a website or domain thank you again and let's get back to the vlog but yeah that's what i've been working on my hair is super straight because i didn't curl it obviously this is like how my hair naturally sits i kind of don't like it so normally i get stuff done to it but as of right now it's just gonna be like this because i don't have time i want to eat so we're gonna eat some food i think Lots of trash. So cute. I need to bring all these upstairs later. So many things that I need to bring upstairs. I had a little hibachi date last night, so I still have some leftovers. So I will be eating this for lunch. This is the drink choice of today. We have a coffee. We have this guy, which is a chocolate latte. Sounds very tasty. I'm only gonna have a little bit because we're getting boba later today. Although I probably won't get one. I've been having way too much boba, so I should really stop. I have my lunch. I have plans later today at five. It's currently two o'clock. So my goal is to finish editing one of my videos um, right now before we go. Uh, what else do I have to do? I don't know crochet and stuff. I have a lot to get to. We will, we will see. I want to send a photo of this to the Discord because I feel like everyone will be so excited. And I love it. I think it's really cute. I really like the holographic. I accidentally <laughs> ordered them <laughs> too small. So funny. So cute though. And I also made a vet appointment for banana muffin this morning because she's having some like problems. So we will be seeing the vet on Wednesday. It's nothing urgent, so she should be fine. She'll probably just need some like antibiotics or something. So that's gonna be on Wednesday. I also signed up for Pilates. I'm gonna start going to Pilates with a friend and we'll see if I like it. If I do, then I'll keep up with it. I wanna put a little hot dog on my computer. Is that a crime? No. No, it's not. I need to start editing for real. <laughs> it's time to get to work. I got through the first run of this. I just have to do the second run. Ow, where I put all of the titles and stuff. Basically, if you look down here, it's just one timeline. It's all flat, it's all smooth. There's nothing really coming off of it. And now I need to go in and add the stuff that comes off of it. I got a little bit distracted while editing and now I want to make a little Instagram reel. I've been making just like mini vlogs recently on Instagram for reels of just like what I'm literally doing in this very moment. So I'm gonna just take a video of some of these cute stickers. And boop, now we're just gonna take some little videos.
All right, so I'm back in my room. This is typically where I do all my editing, but I am on the last final stretch. I have to watch over the very end again because I always pay the least attention to the very end of the video. So I have to go through and force myself to do that. I only have about six minutes left to edit, like footage lengthwise. So I'm really excited to be done because I'm kind of over it. Oh, I am so tired. I am now on the absolute last part, which is the part where I add the sound effect effects. This is super easy because I just go through and I add pretty much wherever I've put a little overlay on top of it. So I am just going to go through and do that. Just command V a bunch of times. Editing is not typically a difficult thing for me, but it is a very long process and it does, I think it drains most people, but like I will get very tired from editing, especially when it's something that I have to finish like specifically today, which is something that I had to do today. Sometimes I I get to edit over the span of like a couple days but sometimes i have to finish editing like asap and then when it's the asap times it gets really exhausting i've been crocheting as i'm editing because sometimes i have to go through and just like watch the footage just like kind of listen and make sure that everything's okay so you guys saw the before here is the after of all of the clips that are now inserted above it and remember that this whole timeline adds up to about 30 minutes so i have to like you know, figure out where everything's gonna go, make it look nice, all that stuff. But we are done. I don't actually ever feel better about editing until the email is sent because then it is officially no longer out of my hands. So we have to upload and then email after this finished exporting. So I'm going to crochet a little bit more. And once I no longer need to like babysit this video and like wait for it to finish uploading and stuff, I want to finish making all of the flowers that I've crocheted. Basically, I have a lot of pieces of stuff that I did not like gluing or making. I want to make all the flowers I have available so I can kind of judge how how many more I need to do. The thing I have going on in the background is my fluffy flower sales. So I'm going to see how many of those I can crank out today. Lots of things are being done today. I'm actually being incredibly productive. I'm very proud of myself. So right now I just made a bunch of the <laughs> carnation like little bottom pieces. I also have a lot of lavender pieces lying around. Just chilling at my desk right now. I think I have some on my bed over there because I like to crochet while I'm like laying in bed. And so sometimes they just all end up here, but we have four more over here we also have a bunch of lilies of the valley but i will get to those at a oh my gosh go back no go back with your friends at a later date but i want to get all of these made right now so yeah this is what we're working with unfortunately i am out of the lavender yarn this is all i have left is just this tiny little ball of it and also i used up all of the sparkly white that i use for the lilies of the valley too this is all there's left so i think we're gonna go and just finish these up. I wanted to hit the gym before I went on my little hot dog adventure tonight. We're going to just finish these up and then I'm gonna get dressed and get going. We're gonna see how many we get out of here because I didn't actually count, but these are just the ones that I've been making the past few days. I kind of just make them without counting because I know I'm gonna need a million of them. But as you can see, my desk is turning into a little flower shop, but it's really, really cute. I'm gonna transform these. I filmed a little bit of a reel beforehand. As you can tell, I've now become a little obsessed with Instagram reels, but it's fun. And it's nice having fun with like a social media, you know, because I haven't had fun with social media in a while. Yeah, we're gonna see how many of these um, we make. I wanna make all of them and then we're gonna head to the gym. It's 5.05, so I should get like a good 40 minutes there. So yeah, let's see how quick I can get these done. Okay, so I am getting ready for the gym. I'm still kind of wearing a fit because I am gonna meet up with my friends after, but we're just wearing this top with these uh, sweatpants. I'm only gonna be there for like 30 minutes anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready, go. We're gonna head to the gym. I will see you guys at hot dogs probably. Grabbing some hot dogs with my friends. So here are some of our orders. We got so many things because there were like four of us, but this new cheese toast was very tasty and there are so many. Here's me eating one. I've recently been getting my hot dogs with potato on the outside and it tastes literally so, so good. But I am very excited, very happy. And we also got a little flying box gift because Jamie picked up something for one of us. So that was really, really cute, but I love it. I ended up going to the gym before 
before this and then after I pretty much just okay, did some work. So it is currently nighttime the next day. Um, I'm in a couple of projects. So I made a bunch of lavenders, but I'm not able to finish all of them because I need some more materials. And I figured out a much better way to make these lilies. So they are much more consistent now and I'm very happy. I'm hoping to be able to do some packing tomorrow of these orders. As you can see right now, I have a bunch of cups of flowers. This is my Lily of the Valley cup. We have my carnation cup over here. This is the lavender cup. And then over here, <laughs> we have this tiny guy who is now being swallowed by the smaller lilies of the valley. And they're so cute. Those are the ones that go in little bouquets. But I'm about to do a really fun little project. As you guys know, I got these in the mail and I want to test them out. So I have that one as well as these guys over here. And I just want to make a little journal of the little papers that I made during college. These are the handmade papers. I picked some out for this specific book that I wanted to make. So we have some confetti paper, these guys, which have the little string in them. These flower papers that I didn't really like at the time, but I'm glad I kept them because I feel like these would be cute. A piece of pink paper, and we have some more of the confetti paper. Overall, I love confetti core, birthday core, whatever you want to call it. But we are going to make a little book for this, and I'm just going to do very easy binding. I just kind of want to see what these labels look like and how they'd work out. So we're going to make a little guy. I'm just folding these guys. I'm also making a reel, so I need to remember to do that, but it's kind of complicated. Film this. I'm going to fold all these in half. Part of me wants to trim the edges and part of me doesn't, but I think I'll decide after I finish binding to see whether or not I want to keep the deckled edges or not. Cause I do think they're very pretty and I know some people like literally love them. I also love them. I would just like to, to see the difference. But this is gonna be a super quick project. It really is just not that complicated because there's not that many sheets to be honest. I'm gonna do three holes and we're just gonna bind it with ribbon because I think that'll be perfectly fine. It's almost too thick to be binded that way, but I think it'll be okay. I wonder if I can just do it with a dowel. I can. I don't know where my bookmaking tools are currently, so we're just going to do it the easy way like this. So I brought this upstairs, just a super thin little ribbon. I guess I'll just cut some. I don't actually know how much. Uh, the only difficult part would be getting this to go through, but I feel like we can make it happen. Oak. I'm just gonna feed this through without a needle. And it works. It does not have to be that complicated. And then the last one is probably the most difficult one. Be sure that this bow is gonna stay. It's time to trim it and see. I think I do prefer it to be trimmed. So that is what we are going to do. Okay, it's been a minute since I've cut anything with a straight edge. So let's see how well this goes. Whoa. I'm sorry if this hurts anyone's feelings who like loves deckled edges. It was just a little too messy for me. I apologize. I could leave the two edges like that because the top ones aren't that crazy. I just like trim a few of them. But I feel like that's kind of strange. Like I might as well take it off, right? Wow, it looks pretty cute. Like I'm quite happy. And it still has some of the edge on some of the pieces if they were small enough to make the cut. Aha, uh -huh, the cut, get it? That's funny. Uh, do I want to do the white one? Or I think it would make sense to do the pink one because the cover is white. Oh my gosh, literally so cute. The thing is I love this red star and I wanna keep it. So do I make it backwards? That's kind of cute. We can do that. ASMR, peel the sticker. And cute. We have this one, which is like a name and date kind of thing. So cute. And then I wanted to, on the back, have this one either in the middle or at the bottom. I think for this specific journal, it might look better in the middle just because of the proportions. Wait, this is coming out very cute 
for like no reason. Are you seeing this? Oh my gosh, I kind of literally love it. Now we have this sheet of stickers so we can just write like, I just re don't really know what I would write. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. And this is what the entry that I did today looks like. I think it's super cute. I love it. And this is pretty much uh, the end of this, I guess, <laughs> for now. I'll probably do more entries. I could make more reels out of that. So that'd be super fun. But I love how these stickers came out. I think they all look really, really nice. Very, very happy about this so far. I'll probably fill this little diary up with some more business-like things. Okay, so this is everything that I got done yesterday. These are the sample flowers. So I made these before to take the photos. These are all of the carnations that we did. They're inside my little guy. And is this not like literally the cutest thing? And then here are all the lavenders. You guys saw me do these too. Is the desk actually getting cleaner? Um, I, I guess a little bit, but like not by much. We did all of this, but today I have a lot of errands to run. Okay, so today we have a very busy day. Also, I'm going to move all of these flowers because they're in the middle of my desk and it's getting a little crazy. I have been trying to get my art into stores and doing wholesale. It's been quite a struggle. I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. It's just basically like becoming, oh my God, God, I left my hot glue gun on all night. Um, you guys didn't see that. That's crazy. Oh dear. Anyway, uh, glad that didn't burn the house down. I've been trying to get my art into local hobby shops, like artsy stores. There actually aren't that many stores around me that sell things like these flowers or mostly I'm working on my stickers and my keychains and most stores don't sell things like that around me. So it was actually really hard growing up trying to find these things because you know, I feel like a lot of kids have interests in these as well. My point with that is that um, there's not many stores around that would carry my art. I'm trying to find places and then once I find places I like and I can get my art in there, I can advertise them to you guys. So they also get some advertising. A store recently turned me down, but I don't want to take no for an answer. So I'm going to drop them off some free samples just so that they can like get a look at my art in person. So I have to pack up some stuff for them. I think we're going to go with some keychains. So I like these two a lot. I'm probably going to give them the blue one and then one of the pink ones packaged. I need to package up some stuff for them some stickers, things like that. Also, wow, I really need some color on my lips. I look a little bit dead. I am a little bit dead because it's like really early, but we have a lot of errands to run today. I'm gonna run them with my boyfriend. We're gonna go to all these places. It's currently 11.54, so I have about 15 minutes left to get this done. We're gonna pack up some stuff. I'm gonna figure out what I wanna bring. I'm gonna drop it off to them and then I might do some work at a library. I'm not sure. I don't know. A lot of stuff today. I have these two sticker packs that I'm gonna give them. This is a flower cat one, gamer girl one that I think they'll probably like. And this is basically almost a collection of all of the stickers I have. And I don't wanna package these up super nicely because I don't want them to feel like they can't open it or anything. So I'm just going to put these in like a simple plastic bag. We're gonna do that. One of these hearts. This is kind of just last minute thinking, to be honest. I should have planned this last night, but I didn't, but that's okay. Open me. I am so hungry, but we're gonna get lunch later, so. All right, so there's that. One of these guys. I wanna leave stuff outside the packaging. I don't actually know any logistics about this stuff, but I just feel like if I leave stuff outside of the packaging, they're more likely to like look and touch it and feel it and that's what I want them to do. I feel like if I package stuff too well, they're never gonna open anything and it's just gonna kind of suck. Two of these. I actually ordered these sunfish backings in the wrong dimension, but let's just try and see what they would look like because I'm curious. I guess it doesn't look too bad. We'll just do it. Add some variety, you know. This is a lot of stuff so far. All right, I'm thinking we don't give them this one. Uh, do I really give them all three keychains? Like, is this necessary? This isn't even released yet, but I'm gonna just drop one off with them. Should leave them a note on what this is. I will say though, while I'm packaging this stuff that there's a competitor store right next to the one that rejected me. And I reached out to them as well. And I didn't actually expect them to say yes either because both of these stores are pretty big hobby shops. They're like very popular 
and I know all these places because my boyfriend frequents all these places, but they actually are interested and wanted me to send over a sell sheet. So that is super, super exciting. I'm gonna send them one of my thank you cards and I'm gonna write the store on it just because I think that's cute. I'm gonna go ahead and package this stuff up. A little phone grip. I know you guys are jealous. I'm sorry, these aren't released yet. This keychain, a pack of stickers, a packaged pack of stickers, show packaging, two of these. Hopefully they like pass these around in the staff and they're all like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Like I wish we sold these and then something happens. I don't know, maybe I'm being super naive about this thinking that that's what would happen, but I do really believe in my stuff and I feel like it would do well there. So it's kind of frustrating that they rejected me the first time, but that's okay. We're gonna try again, but yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna drop these off. I'm gonna grab all of my stuff and we are going to get going. I just need to write out a pricing sheet for them. Where is Andrew? I am waiting for him at his house. Let's go, please. Ding, ding, ding. It's time. So I dropped off my stuff and now we're at Xing Fu Tang getting some boba. They didn't really take a look at it at the time, but hopefully in like a month or two, I will circle back and see what they think and maybe they'll change their mind. But we're getting our little fortunes today because this is a little thing they have here. And I think I got like medium average luck. A lot of it's like average luck, which is a really funny phrasing or it'll be like bad luck or good luck. I got my boba. I got a little red bean milk today. It's not even a milk tea. It's literally red bean milk. And the little thing lights up, which is really Really cute but now we are at lunch we are getting pho today and we are just gonna munch away a very busy day because later we are going to the library I'm just doing work here and I'm editing. I'm basically just slumped and doing some editing today. I don't usually go to public libraries to do work at all. I prefer cafes, but Andrew is studying for a very big exam. So I've just kind of been here keeping him company. I have lots of work to do, so I really don't mind. This is what I was working on. I was designing a promo email, which I have never done before, but I sent this out and I got a couple more orders. So that was super great. And you can do this all with Squarespace stuff. But I also decided to tally up all of my orders and see how many of each flower I had to make because I started getting bored of editing and I I kind of couldn't do it anymore. Instead though, I started drawing. So I have this bunny that I drew for some reason. I don't really doodle anymore. So this was kind of strange for me, but it was also kind of fun. I didn't really know what I was drawing, but here's a little bunny with flowers and bees. I was kind of having a great time, but by this point, the library was about to close. So we're just kind of wrapping up all of our work for today. But I have been out and about all day doing work and it has been very exhausting, very tiring. I kind of left in a hurry this morning because I was in a hurry, but I went and dropped off my stuff at the store that rejected me and hopefully they'll have a change of heart. Um, I do genuinely think that my stuff will do well there and they seemed excited to like see my stuff. So hopefully seeing it in person will change their minds. But yeah, I think I'm gonna work on the flowers for the rest of the day. As you can see, there's so many cute guys. So we have this one and then we have these ones. I actually finally tallied up everything while I was at the library about how many of each I need. But yeah, it's about dinner time. So it's time to eat, but I'm just gonna be working for pretty much the rest of the day. Hello everyone. So this is actually what I was working on last night. I'm procrastinating currently editing a video because I don't wanna do it. I've been working on my wholesale pricing catalog because I don't have one. I downloaded this font on Google Drive, or I guess this is Google Slides. It's called Fredoka One. And it's actually really cute and nice and I like it. So this is what I've been doing, but I need to have better pictures of my single piece stickers. I know I have good photos for most of them, them, but some of them I'm missing so I need to take some today and then for the single should be sticker sheets more photos of these as well and then for the charms I think these are fine pictures and I need to take better pictures of all of my stuff for the catalog and then take some pictures of the phone grips I think I might retake these photos too just because like I don't like the way they're filtered but I'm gonna go outside and take some photos because I realize the best photos I take are the ones in the sun yep this is what I'm up to I'm gonna go out for lunch a little bit later but right now I'm gonna take some photos.
Hello everyone. Good morning. It is currently 11.30. I woke up at 10.30 today to film, which I know sounds like a normal person time and it really is, but I have been working really hard to fix my sleep schedule because I have no like reason to get up early. I really can just get up whenever I want, but lately I've been trying to get up earlier so that I can film, get stuff done, be awake during normal like society civilian hours, you know? And so I've gotten myself up to 11.30. 30, but today I pushed it all the way to 10. I have a video that I really need to finish today. I did not film everything that I needed to. So this is a little behind the scenes of that video, but I'm waking up really early to finish this. We're going to be packing the orders today and that's what the what I'm filming. So not only do I have to do something, but I have to film it as well. But here's a little update on all the flowers we have. We have these lavenders. This is how many we have. I actually have more. I just realized I didn't finish all of them because I wanted to make a TikTok talk and I didn't even finish it so I need to finish that but this is what they look like I made one two three four five six seven I made seven that night that I said I was gonna make more but yesterday I just had a work day to myself I didn't really feel like being on camera but all I did was do work we have so many of these lavenders I'm gonna try to stick them in here but these cups are getting really really full I don't know how logical this is I tried to count how many flowers I would need for all the orders earlier you know I started losing track so it's getting out of hand so I'm kind of ready to be shipping some of these out too but i'm also kind of sad because i love having them all here but we have this guy with all of the lilies of the valley which is super super cute little flower haul right now we have oh, we have this one with uh the carnations for the most part there's some other flowers in here but mostly it's the carnations and then lastly this little cup of just i think i only have three of these two of these a couple of the lilies of the valley the big ones are in here but i need to clear off this desk so we have space to actually film and pack orders i'm so like ambitious today with my productivity i want to edit that footage get it done and upload the video before i leave because we have a hammy appointment today we have a vet appointment for a banana muffin because she's been having some problems she's having a bit of fur loss and we don't know what's going on we're gonna take her to the vet later at two o'clock and then after that i have some errands to run my boyfriend has been the library a lot preparing for a really big medical exam for medical school so we're going to drop off lunch for him and do all that stuff so lots of things happening today i did make this yesterday i just uploaded a reel about it and i know i've been talking about instagram reels a lot because i want to share with you guys you know like my journey of my business and stuff like that and this is a new venture but i would like to say they don't monetize every single reel because there are like guys guidelines and the one that i uploaded that did the literal best so far it has 12,000 views in only a couple of hours it's the art versus the artist one and it did really well this one's not monetized so that's really annoying i'm starting to like figure out what gets monetized and what doesn't because it's a little bit complicated you know learning a new platform anytime is always a little bit complicated so i'm going to let's Let's clear off this desk right now. So we have cups of flowers. The pink yarn, this is all that's left. We have that ball and we have this ball. So honestly, I should go pick up some more yarn today too because we've used up almost all of it. I don't have like a spot. Let me just throw yarn balls behind us. But here are some pieces of carnations. I just have a bunch of like materials on the desk and pieces of lavenders I have not finished because I don't have enough purple. Here's a leaf that I made yesterday because I was in the mood to make a leaf. But I think overall, I've been doing a relatively okay job at trying to keep the desk organized. And yesterday, the floral wires, I went to Michael's today and I tried to get uh, more floral wires and they had some different kinds. And so I wanted to try them out and they work really, really well. So I like these new thicker ones. I have a lot of like yarn scraps also on the floor. So I'll have to vacuum that later. There's like hot glue strings everywhere. And it's been a long time since I've used hot glue. So it's also been a long time since I've seen everything covered in hot glue strings. Bunch of like materials. I'm just going to move them off so that I have optimal space. The realities of like working is that I just have piles of just like my products that I don't really know what they're doing out, but they're out. I found a ring. So cute, a little guy. You guys can't even see him. He's so cute. Literally 
Beautiful. I don't know how my phone charger is on here because I have our, I already have a phone charger like in the vicinity. Yeah, I think we are ready to uh, get some work done now. I'm gonna push some of this stuff to the corner though because this is just how things go. You see this? It's like, wow, the desk is so clear. And then I hear this irritating grating sound and it's just a pile of stuff over here. But uh, overall, everything looks good. Oh, I am still unbelievably <laughs> stressed. It is time to bring Hammy to the vet. I'm waiting for her to slowly wake up, hopefully, because she hears my voice. I also have Pilates later today. This is gonna be my first time going to a Pilates class with one of my friends. So I am kind of scared, kind of excited, which is also motivating me to eat more today so that I will have optimal energy. Honestly, if I were to just go and be like as productive as possible, I may forget a meal or two, which is not good. I think going to the gym and exercising is one of my biggest motivations to like stay on top of eating. But Hemi, banana muffin. I'm so sorry to disturb you. Unfortunately, we have to go to the vet, which you will soon learn is probably your least favorite place. I have a little carrier. Unfortunately, it's a uh, more dwarf hamster size than it is Syrian hamster size, but I couldn't get a carrying case on such short notice. So we're just gonna bring some of her fluffs, of course. So it smells like her, so she's not too worried. Hello. I'm gonna give her some time to stretch because I know she likes to stretch. I wonder if she knows if we're going somewhere. Looks so tiny. We gotta go. Can you come with me? Ow. <laughs> Ow. It's because I smell like food. Wow. I'm really nervous to bring her because she's already a stressed hamster as it is. And now we got to go to the vet, which is not going to be fun, but I'm sure she's going to be doing a great job. And we are going to go. So are you ready? It is about time. It's time to head out. This is going to be your new temporary home. I'm so sorry. It's like the smallest thing you've probably ever seen, but I'm gonna close it. Watch your fingers. Amy, you gotta go. You gotta get going. Watch your little fingers and your whiskers and stuff. I'm so worried. I know this is the worst. We're gonna head to the vet. I'll update you guys after. Oh, she's sniffing. She's upset. <laughs> Here is Hammy at the vet. Everything seemed okay. We have two medications for her to try now. <laughs> what is this pose? We're going to be doing She's one for like happy. parasites and mites and stuff, and we're gonna be doing another one for skin infections, but hopefully she will be okay. Fur loss is not like a super worrisome thing for Hammy's to go through, although obviously it's not ideal. We have lots of sticky notes. I'm about to bring them to the library. I also just picked up two smoothies. So hopefully we have a productive day today. Hello everyone. Yesterday was an exhausting day. But today I'm just gonna take it chill and we're gonna do our nails. This is what they currently look like. They're pretty, they're pretty grown out, but we're gonna redo them today. I'm going to be doing a tiny little nail tutorial, kind of. You guys always ask for a nail tutorial, but I am not a professional, so this is just how I do mine. But over the years, I think I've gotten a little bit better. The first thing I'm gonna do is file off the last design and the extra gel. We're gonna add a base coat and then some builder gel, which is what this is. It kind of just makes your nails a little bit thicker, and I do all my designs on my natural nails, so it's important for me to make sure they're not going to break. I actually wish my nails were a little bit longer for this design, but I cut them before I figured out what I was gonna do. So I'm gonna do a coat of milky white polish I actually did two coats of this and then I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush and eyeshadow and I'm just going to dab on the gradient on the center There's ways to do this with polish and stuff But I found this is the easiest way for me to do this type of design and here's what it all looks like with all of the base done I'm gonna add some gems off camera and then you're done So I finished my nails they look super, super cute. I'm very happy with how they came out. But I just got dressed. I'm gonna head over to a friend's house today. Here's the fit. But yeah, I've had a nice little off day today. Just like doing my nails. It was a lot of fun. I'm really glad because my nails were very overdue. The before, they were looking rough. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do for my nails though before and I already cut them, which kind of sucks because I kind of wish they were a little bit longer. Like this, <laughs> not to flip you guys off, but this like finger length, fingernail length is what I wanted, but 
Some of my other nails are a little bit shorter, but it's fine. But yeah, me and my best friend are gonna be matching. We like to match our nails. I'm gonna see her on set today. Uh, I feel like um, my hair looks like cinema roll today because it's also blue. Here is how the little boba came out. This is some cinema roll boba. It's pretty cute. It was a process, but it was fun. But I'm gonna end the day with some more work. We're just gonna pack some little orders today. But overall, this week has been very, very productive. I recently did a shop launch for all of my fluffy flowers. So this is what I've been working on. But on top of that, also balancing work. And it's been a whole process ever since graduating because I'm basically self-employed and I can make my own hours. And theoretically, I can really go off the rails and just hang out with people whenever I want and do whatever I want. That would not be very responsible. So I don't want to do that. So slowly I've been trying to find a balance for work and life. I think typically I gravitate more towards working too much and not going out enough, especially considering I'm 22, I'm still young and I should live my life and not be chasing success so aggressively. But also I really love what I do. So it's been super fun, but I'm currently doing some orders from my online shop. And in the back of my mind, I am also still Still trying to get into some wholesale orders. It's not something that I want to pursue super seriously, but I think for the time being, I think it would be nice to have that as like a little bit of insurance for where my merch is gonna go. And also I would really love to see my stuff in stores. I just really haven't found the right stores yet, but right now I'm experimenting with the ribbons. I've realized that if I use a lighter, it will actually stop the ribbon from fraying. So I've been doing that instead of like using glue, which is what I used to do. But this has been a whole process of learning how to work productively and also still have friends and so I'm very happy with how this week went because I feel like I hung out with people like an appropriate amount while also being very productive and I think giving myself that break of like hanging out with my friends lets me actually get more work done because then I'm more well rested and like rejuvenated and ready to get work done so overall this has been quite a journey but I'm getting slowly closer and closer to actually finding a balance it's something that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about enough when they have their small business because I feel like it's always like the grind mindset and like the hustle never stops and whatever but I am a firm believer that balance is important and although I'm not the greatest at it I want to remind you guys that that is something that's kind of important I hope all of you guys have been doing well it's been a minute since I've talked to you guys about anything like kind of serious but these are just thoughts that have been on my mind lately and kind of just things I've been working on personally and I've also been able to find time for the gym again so over Overall, I think life is shaping out to be pretty good, but I'm really glad to have shared this week with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I typically function and how I do my work and stuff. But if you guys like this video, please drop a subscribe. That would be super duper appreciated and I will see you guys in the next video. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye everyone!